Hello, this is Nick from ReviewOutlaw.com. Today I'm going to review uh, Helioskiing at Whistler, British Columbia. Uh, I went hel Helioskiing February 2013. Uh, I'm an avid snowboarder. Um, I've been snowboarding for probably about 10 years now. This is my first time uh, Helioskiing. It was unbelievably awesome. Something I definitely recommend you do once in your lifetime. Um, you definitely want to be a solid skier or snowboarder. You definitely want to be able to go down black diamonds um, and comfortably and uh, be able to go down double black diamonds. Um, most of the skiing we did I would classify as being black diamonds. Um, and again, that depends where you're coming from. If you're coming from the East Coast, if you're coming from small mountains, large mountains, for example, Sunday River, uh, the black diamonds are pretty hard. If you go s further south to like Massachusetts, where they have um, some of the smaller mountains, then a blue on that would be a green on a larger mountain. So it, it really varies uh, where you're coming from. And if you're coming from Europe, it's going to be different too. Um, if you love powder, then definitely helio skiing is what you want to do. A couple things um, that that you might want to know about that I've experienced. There is a bunch of different options. There's a classic experience, there's an elite adventure, ultimate excursion. Um, when you book these different packages, what I went with was the elite adventure. You get four runs, uh, six thousand, ten thousand vertical feet. We went up to about 10,000 vertical feet. Um, you're in a helicopter, and it takes you basically from the bottom of the mountain to the top. They do give you avalanche training. Um, the, the big thing is your, your guide. If you have a great guide, you're going to have a great experience. If you have a no, not-so-great guide, then you, you might not have the best experience. But most of it's just going to be enjoying the skiing. The guides tell you where to go. They're going to slow you down if the guy in the back's taking a long time. So it really depends on the group you're going with and your guide and the conditions of snow, of course. Um, when we went up, it, it was a little foggy for the first run. So we actually had to wait maybe half an hour for the helicopter to come get us after the first run. So um, if you, luckily after that it cleared. But if we had a foggy day, it would have been possibly not able to get all the runs in. Now, although I've paid for four runs, which was about $1,000, um, I actually had the option of doing two additional runs. And they charge for that, I think it was about 75 to $100 extra per run. But when you're up there, it is so worth it. Um, because you're already up there, it's, it's not too much more for a couple extra runs. But if you think of how many runs you're getting, and this is pretty much a whole day you're using up, you'd get a heck of a lot more runs on just a big mountain experience. The main difference is you're going with a small group. It's a guided tour, so these guides know where the good runs are. They know where to go. Um, plus, you're getting fresh tracks. I mean, I've skied at least 15 years, snowboarded 10 years, and... It, it, you just don't get fresh tracks anymore unless you want to wake up early, and even then, it's it's not for very much, you know, for very long. So it's just unbelievable to have that fresh powder, fresh tracks, um, and you just enjoy the mountain. Plus, the views are unbelievable out there. Um, it's you, you can see from some of the, the the video footage. It's just totally amazing video footage. Um, so again, highly recommend it if, if you're a skier, snowboarder, whatever, be, be a good skier, snowboarder, definitely. But, um, you know, if you just feel comfortable going on black diamonds, even blues, um, don't go do this if, if you're a green only and you can really go down a black diamond if you really try. You're not going to have fun. It's going to be for someone who's been skiing a good long time or snowboarding a good long time. Um... Yeah, I, I think that that's about it. Uh, watch the video, the rest of the video. You can see uh, me going down a couple of extra trails here. I didn't record the whole time. So, um, yeah, take a look. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. Thanks.
Holy shit. Oh, that was a lot of powder. <laughs> Love it, though.